so our topic is lipids this is a biomolecule before that we have discussed about the carbohydrates and protein we were having four biomolecules carbohydrates protein lipids and nucleic acid now we are talking about the lipids this is the third one right before that we have discussed about the carbohydrate and protein now lipids what are lipids organisms in which glucose is stored glucose is stored for a long time for a long time and converted into insoluble molecules insoluble <coughs> molecules that have more carbon and hydrogen ratio then carbohydrates that are called fats that are called fats now what is this first of all organisms in which glucose is stored for long time like glucose if in any organism glucose is stored for long time so that is converted into insoluble molecules what are insoluble molecules that are fats so it is converted into insoluble molecules fats that have a ratio of ch carbon and hydrogen they are having higher ratio of carbon and hydrogen if we compare with the carbohydrates before it was glucose we can say carbohydrate it is converted into insoluble molecules that is fats right so that is having a more ratio of carbon and hydrogen than carbohydrates so now combination of fats i call lipids combination of fats are called lipids we can see that the fats are monomer of the lipids and lipid is a polymer so in this ratio of oxygen is very less than carbohydrate carbohydrate it is having a higher ratio of carbon and hydrogen but lower ratio of oxygen if we compare with the carbohydrate like for example stearin it is a fat that is present in the animals right its formula is c57 h110 and o6 you can see here it is having higher ratio of the carbon and hydrogen having less ratio of oxygen so that is called the lipids after that we are having some groups of lipids some groups of lipids so the number one is we are having that is triglyceride triglyceride and another is uh, phospholipid after that we are having waxes then steroid sorry that was sorry terpenoid terpenoid these are the groups of the lipids now we will talk about these groups first of all triglyceride triglyceride what is triglyceride how tri uh, triglyceride is a fats but how it is made <coughs> it is composition if we see so the one molecule of glycerol plus three molecules of the fatty acid make the triglyceride one molecule of the glycerol and three molecules of the fatty acid they will make triglyceride now we will see how like here so we will see the glycerol and here fatty acid structure right h c i am making of the glycerol this is the structure of glycerol one glycerol and as i talk about the three molecules of the fatty acid this is the one and two more i will make
first of all i will tell you this radical is a very we can as we all know radical is radical varies like so this radical is uh, shows uh, instead of radical we have to use it a long chain of hydrocarbon long chain of hydrocarbon so that will be make fatty acid like uh, uh, here not space so i will make so as i written radical which means instead of radical we will write the long chain of hydrocarbon so that will be the one fatty acid with this radical with this radical and with this radical we will make long chain of hydrocarbon so that will be make the one fatty acid now here how the triglycerol will made from the glycerol and three fatty acid right now this oh and this oh this oh and this oh here will be the process occur that will be called the condensation as we all know what is condensation a removal of water so the oh will remove from here and h will remove from here h2o oh will remove from here or h will remove from here same here so the three here i am writing three h2o molecules will be removed so we can say that the condensation uh, condensation solution or we can say condensation uh, material of the three fatty acid and one glycerol will be the triglyceride how the final structure will be What I am doing, I am making here. This is only the O. This will be the C. So this will be the so this will be a structure of triglyceride. Triglyceride. As you can see here, as I make here, we have removed three uh, hydrogen molecules. O will be remaining here. One O. This one. This one and this one. As I make this here, and H two O is removed. Plus three H two O removed from this. So this is structure of triglyceride. We can see the by the condensation process of H2O will be removed from the formation of the triglyceride. Three molecules of the H2O will be removed. Okay. After that, 